Hello, my name is Mark Salinas and I'm the Arts and Culture Coordinator for Carson City. As the summer of 2018 comes to an end, I want to share with you that October is National Arts and Humanities Month, a coast-to-coast -coast collective recognition of the importance of culture in America. The NAHM was launched by American for the Arts more than 30 years ago as National Arts Week in honor of the 20th anniversary of the National Endowment for the Arts. Back in 1993, it was re-established by American for the Arts and National Arts Partners as a month-long celebration with the goals of focusing on the arts at local, state, and national levels, encouraging individuals and organizations to participate in the arts, allowing governments and businesses to show the appreciation for the arts, and finally raising public awareness about the role of arts and humanities and how it plays in our day-to-day -day lives. So no matter who you are, or where you live, or what you do for a living, there are many ways to celebrate National Arts and Humanities Month this October. Here in Carson City, with the support of the library, the fire department, the senior center, and the cooperative extension, we're producing videos that will share the arts appreciation and creativity found throughout our other city departments. This citywide show and tell promises to be informative, fun, but most of all, entertaining. So to be a good sport, I think arts and culture should go first. Well, as you know, I'm from New York City, and in September, we have New York Fashion Week. It's a giant, giant citywide uh, celebration of, of arts and culture through fashion. And I used to work in the industry for a designer named Zach Posen. And so right here are two images that I uh, drew. Uh, these are actually from when I went to school at Parsons School of Design in New York. Uh, we spent many hours there drawing the live figure you know, on a pedestal. And these are called you know, fashion illustrations. And these are pretty important to uh, basically um, conceptually be a hanger for the clothes designs that you want to sell to someone. The first process in doing this, our instructor uh, taught us to go in with a light colored thick marker and kind of block out the figure and then later on go in with a black um, marker and try to uh, provide weight and composition in that. So um, these probably took maybe, these were just really quick ones like maybe two or three minutes a piece. And these are my favorite ones. I think these are sort of like most convincing and they have an illustrational sort of uh, style to them. And so this is one example of something I've done. And then uh, we're going to take a little look over the BAC and see another project, uh, a Vogue magazine cover that I made for the uh, Carson City Arts and Culture Coalition. So let's head over there and take a look. So recently the Carson City Arts and Culture Coalition uh, distributed some mannequins to artists throughout uh, the neighborhood and challenged them to create something uh, provocative and interesting to uh, not only be put on display but also to be auctioned off later as a fundraiser for their organization. So I had a, uh, I think it's called a three-quarter uh, piece mannequin here and another artist Shoshana Zelder and I worked together to create sort of what we interpreted as sort of a surreal takeoff on an old Vogue cover. So uh, this painting of a cat with a veil and a, and a, a very fashion-forward hat there is actually a, a drawing that was on the cover of Vogue uh, several decades ago. And what we did was we, we projected that onto the mannequin and painted it. Um, the letters are pop up and they, they're three-dimensional relief. And from certain angles, the, the, the figure there sort of disappears. So I guess this would represent something I just did um, with uh, Shoshana uh, last week and uh, we're happy to have it at the BAC and I think it'll be at WNC Galleries later on and I suppose if you like it well enough you could probably take it home within the next few months at the uh, Coalition's auction. So I hope that this and uh, those drawings I showed you at the Adams Hub kind of give some uh, perspective as some of the creativity that goes on either from staffers or department heads or even commissioners in all of our municipal departments here in Carson City. Thanks.